Did you know that we can compare and order any set of rational numbers by converting them to decimals? In this video, we will learn how to order any set of rational numbers. In our previous lesson, we learned how to convert percentages and fractions to decimals. In this video, we will be learning how to order and compare a set of rational numbers. So what are rational numbers? Rational numbers are numbers that include fractional parts. Let's say we were asked to order the following numbers from least to greatest. 2 thirds, 0 and 4 tenths, 87 percent, and 16 over 20. One way we can compare all rational numbers is by converting them to decimals and then thinking of money. We can start by converting 87% to a decimal. We know that 87% is the same as 87 out of 100 because percent means out of 100 equal parts. 87 out of 100 is the same as 87 hundredths. Another way is by relating percentages to money. If we take one whole or one dollar bill and divide it into 100 equal parts, the value of each part would be one penny. This means we can see percents as cents or pennies. So 87% is the same as 87 cents or 87 hundredths. I can also remove the percent sign, add a decimal at the end, and move it two spaces to the left because 87 divided by 100 is equal to 87 hundredths. The next fraction we can convert is 2 thirds. We learned in our last lesson that we can convert fractions to decimals by dividing the numerator by its denominator. It is very important to divide the numerator by the denominator and not the other way around. The top number in the fraction goes in the box always. Since I cannot divide 3 by 2, I will add a decimal and two zeros. I also need to add a decimal to the quotient. Now if I divide 2 by 3, I will get 66 hundredths as a repeating decimal. To convert 16 over 20 to a decimal, I can change the denominator to 100. If I multiply the denominator and numerator by 5, our new fraction will be 80 over 100, which we know is the same as 80 hundredths. Another way of converting 16 over 20 to a decimal is by dividing its numerator by its denominator. Since 16 is a smaller number than 20, I need to remember to add a decimal to the dividend or the top number and add a decimal to the quotient with zeros. Once divided, 16 over 20 is equal to 80 hundredths. I will also add a zero to 4 tenths so that we have the same number of digits to the right of each decimal and to make all of our numbers look like money. Now that all of our rational numbers are in decimal form, I can place them in order from least to greatest and compare them. 40 hundredths or 40 cents has the least value. Then it would be the fraction 2 thirds, which is a repeating decimal of 66 hundredths, or rounded 67 cents. Then we have the fraction 16 over 20 that has a value of 80 hundredths, or 80 cents. And at last, we have 87% that has a value of 87 cents. If you're looking to master various concepts in math and science, you can subscribe to our channel. So make sure not to miss out on any future content. Until next time.